What's up everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt. Behind me, I'm standing in one of my favorite places. I'm at the National Pike Steam Show in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. And this is the shovel capital of the world. There's more shovels here, cable shovels, uh, friction cranes, etc. More of them here than any one place on earth that we're aware of. So there's a lot of equipment around here and not all of it gets run every year. Uh, like this dump truck behind me. I think this thing might have ran last show. Uh, the little crawler here probably hasn't moved in a couple years. Other things wind up sitting for quite a while. Today we're going to try to get this old Euclid truck fired up and uh, drive it out of here. I'm pretty sure this thing's been sitting here probably close to 20 years. She's slowly going back to nature here. Got lots of trees growing up through it. This is a some sort of a man lift. This was used inside of a mine. It came here long ago and has not been really played with. It's not exactly a fun thing to play with. I don't think anybody's gonna trust the man lift portion of it at this point. Probably need to cut that off there and do something with the truck. It's not mine, but I did get permission from the owner to uh, get her fired up and move it out of here. I believe this is an NH Cummins. So I'm a Cummins fan. I, I think it's going to fire up. All the creature comforts in this unit. Twin sticking in there as well. All right, let's see what we can do with this thing. All right, we got some jump package hooked up here. Uh, I guess we, we, should... we got two 12 volts in series. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> for all the jump packs. You don't really need group 31s when you have a couple jump packs. <laughs> we should probably check and see if we have any fuel. I say, did you check the oil? I've checked nothing. You, well, you, you can't really see anything in the fuel tank, in fact. more dirt than you can with that. I'm going to say it has fuel. Did you see how convenient this is to check the oil? No. Oh, my God. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> it's very convenient. I'll let you do it. That's uh, Sam from Scrappy Industries rear end you're looking at there. <laughs> oh, we're right at the full mark. Oh, she's perfect. She's ready to fire up. She's just been waiting for a day like today. Uh, I think we need an extra dipstick tube, Jimmy. Does the what clutch pedal move? I like that factory door latch. It is factory. Well, that seems sturdy. We can bust out the chainsaw. Is it better than the grater? That's, it hits the steering wheel. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, what do we got going on here? There's some switches. It's got air brakes. We got to look through the tree to see the fan. I really don't have a clue how to get her to go. I would just start pushing things. Um. Is there a master switch, you know, in this fine unit? <laughs> <laughs> I, know every, I know nothing about this unit. Cables go. So what do we have going on there? Uh, everything's right to the starter. There's no switches involved. All right, can we get a Leatherman to it? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can, actually. Pretty easy access from in here. Things can are unhappy. Can you see anything there? <laughs> well, I can see our starter right here. Oh, God. Just give her the kickings. There's nothing to turn on on yours, right? No. Oop, that's got not it. good. <laughs> we're, 
welding. <laughs> this is how you're supposed to do this. <laughs> All right, contact. Oof, things are on fire. That was the other side. I don't know that. Oh, that's welded on there now. Oh, well, I contacted. <laughs> One more go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Things are not happy over here. That's that's not ideal for this poor jump pack. I'll, I'll hold a little extra tension. I say again, contact. Oh. Things are trying to move. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if two jump packs. Are yeah, we enough. we might need some real batteries for this. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Anyone have any idea how long you've been since it run? I'm gonna guess 20 years. Yeah. You ready, Sam? Yep. Contact. Hold on, this tree is in the fan. <laughs> yeah, hold on a second here. We're gonna, gonna, we're gonna do some pruning, some arbor work before we can get it cranked over. <laughs> Stand on the bell housing to do this. <laughs> Ready? Yep. I think you gotta wiggle your. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. God, this is sketchy. No. You know what, though? We gotta get power to the PT solenoid, or I can manually override if that screw will turn. Oh. Uh... Because like I have some it, switches on. I don't know if they're doing anything. Hold on. Go ahead. No, it's not clicking. There's that manual override knob on the back of these. So yeah. You don't need power. See if you can get her to crank a leak. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Contact. What the heck? The switch is still on on the gray one, right? Uh, yeah, it's still making noises. Okay. All our switches are in the go position for whatever that's worth. Ready? Wonder if we ended up on a bad spot on the starter. Certainly possible. All righty, take number 875. All the ether. We're going with all the ether, all the compression release, and all the prayers. All right, ready? Contact. Oh, buddy. You need more ether. <laughs> I'll start feeding yeah, her the beans as soon as it see. starts. I can probably hit it. I can get it, I okay. think, because I'm not doing anything in here. All right, pull that compression release, yeah. It was definitely running on ether only. <laughs> All right, I might need another can. Ready? Yep. Come on, Dick. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, oh, something's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, like r real fire. What do you need, bud? Uh, I think it's going out. It's out. Whatever it was is already burnt. It's not going to burn anymore. Yeah. We need to stock up on eighty percent ether. I got a case at home. Uh, yeah, well, it's this not is here. the good stuff, champion. Ready? Contact. Oh, there's more in that truck. Better get more. Driver's side compartment. I wonder uh, if that I screws the right way. We can... If we need to back it out. Yeah, that might be the case. I think we manage. I can hit her from here. <clears throat> I think if we got two cans, we just just double hit fist the it. Hell well, one out of those of is thing. cable and chain lube, so that one might oh, not whoops. work good. <laughs> It'll burn. <clears throat> you get that one after the after the ether hits. This is battery and ignition spray, Sam. 
It'll also burn. Did, did you read any of the labels? <laughs> they look like ether to me. Like I said, sometimes I feel like you're too smart to hang out with me, and then this happens. Ow! This thing's prickly. This thing is horrible to work on. The tree, bud. The tree's really added to the ambiance. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yep. Contact. Still no fuel? Doesn't seem like it. I mean, I couldn't tell if there's any in the tank. There's no way to see. It didn't sound like super ethery though. <clears throat> no, that's why I hesitated. Were you hitting the throttle any? No, I didn't try yeah. that. I can just hold her wide open. Oh yeah, might as well. Let me uh, wedge the machete in here. <laughs> All right, that works. Oh God. You might be on ether duty now. I, I can hit her from here with this can. You got a good can? I got a good can. Okay, you ready? Yep. Well, you want to hit it first? I can hit it first. Contact. Ready? So hold on. All right, that's the trial. All right, yep. Uh, you got the compression release out? I don't know. Last time you didn't pull it and it was okay. fine. this thing. sticks way back there. Yeah.
wonder if it has brakes. You can't kill it. Buddy, it still has brakes. That's impressive. We got the manual fuel solenoid override engaged. That's why it requires the stall shutdown. I guess you can pull the compression release. Well, there's where she was parked for probably 20 years. Definitely been there a while. There's the size of that tree we cut off in front of the counterweight. But now we got some room here now. Things are getting wound up here at the steam show. All right, we're up here with the old Lorraine shovel. I'm gonna try to get it fired up for the first time this year. It's been sleeping since, uh, I'm gonna say September of last year. I just threw some gas in the pony engine topped off the coolant, check the oil, ready to get this thing fired up.
So we started a little project here at the show, making room for some of the pieces of equipment that don't run or uh, they just sit most of the time. So we got that Euclid pulled over there. It's in its happy home for now. Took out a couple more trees there. Got Sam cleaning up the, uh, the brush. Poor old Lorraine here had the drag cable break on it. It was in rough shape. I wasn't surprised, but uh, not a big deal. Just need to string some new cable on it. That's gonna be a project for when it's less crowded. is a dream car all right guys well if you stuck it out and uh, made it this far in the video I appreciate you hanging out with me uh, this last half of the video here was just uh, some clips I took from the steam show no real rhyme or reason just some stuff I thought was cool so figured I'd put it in here at the end and uh, I know the folks that appreciate it will watch so if you came out to the show and you saw me in person uh, I appreciate you guys coming out and uh, supporting a great organization there's another show in Brownsville, PA here coming up in August. I will have the, uh, the link to their website down in the description so you can check out the details. Of course, I'm going to be there, and I'm sure I'll have at least a couple pieces of equipment down there. So if you've never been to the Steam Show, definitely consider coming on out in August and uh, support a great organization, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. It's a great time up there. But that's all I've got for now. So, as always, if you guys like the video, do me a big favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. It doesn't cost you guys a dime, and it really helps out the channel. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure you're hitting that subscribe button. It's also free to you, and uh, that'll make sure you don't miss any future uploads. So that's all I've got. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next video.